What's up YouTube? So today I'm doing a seminar at my house for my most premium clients, my Breakthrough Platinum members, and we're gonna be covering some body language stuff and some pretty advanced information on deception, reading people, understanding people. So they're gonna walk out of here with knowledge that most people will never learn in their entire lives. You can't go study this. No one's gonna teach it, whether you're in law enforcement or intelligence. I doubt they're as good as I am at teaching it or understanding it. So they're in for a treat, and you guys get a little bit of the behind the scenes. Why is it so disgusting, bro? How do you drink this shit? <laughs> Tastes like shit. It's an acquired taste. It's not an acquired taste, it's a shit taste. <laughs> Actually, I don't have milk in a while. That's funny. There's like a weird taste. Bro. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh shit. I have a cut in my mouth and he bought me this like thing to numb my mouth and I put it in my mouth and everything I'm tasting tastes fucking weird. <laughs> and now I know why. It's because I taste much of fuck. Body language, understanding behavior, deception. If someone is genuine, will cost you millions of dollars if you don't understand it, or it'll make you millions of dollars if you do. Why? Because you know everything that someone's feeling, you can pivot. If you say something and it offends someone else, you can pivot. I remember when I was 21, I already had a pretty high EQ when I was 21, I'm on stage. And I don't remember what I said, but I said something that offended the room. And I could see the room immediately go into a, like their body language shifted. Everyone in the room shifted. And I said, I'm just kidding. Played it off, continued, everyone was fine. They unconsciously, before they were able to even consciously process how they felt about what I said, I was able to pivot. It's very important to identify what micro expressions are. This is an expression that will appear on your face in a matter of about, I would say, a few milliseconds. Like anywhere from three milliseconds to around 30 or 40 milliseconds, half a second. They don't last very long, depending on the expression. If the emotion is elongated and they're not, oh, they're not worried about concealing it in that moment, their guard is down, you will see what they're feeling. Simultaneously, it's important to notice what they are. This is the most important one. In my opinion, this right here is the most important micro expression in memory. The most undervalued emotion from any person I've ever met. The most people don't even consider this to be something important. Contempt. Contempt means I believe I'm better than you or I'm above what you're saying. What you're saying to me, I, I feel it's below, like it's like if someone's very provocative and you're not provocative, you might have contempt towards what they're saying. If someone walks in and you know, you're giving them feedback and then they give you contempt. Like imagine someone's working for you and they show you contempt. It's a very negative emotion. I was at a seminar talking and I'm looking at like this front row of like these three guys who are all friends and they were the ones heckling and they all kept showing contempt on their face whenever I'd look at them. Hysterical, right? So <laughs> they don't know that I see it. So contempt is two things. One, I feel like I, I'm better than you. I feel like I have one above you. Also, it's this, I'm above whatever it is you're saying. It's either what you're saying or who you are. But it's, it's, it's that's contempt. Right there, you just, you just had a micro expression of contempt. What did, what did you think about? You thought about something that you're better than or above. What was it? That's what I was not thinking about anymore. Well, then you're just mirroring the emotion? No, I don't know. You literally just, have, you just, did, you just had contempt. So contempt is one side of the face moving up. Like, <laughs> like fast, very fast. Like, Okay. That's contempt. I'm better than this thing. And you'll notice someone even talking about something maybe they're guilty of, it's like, oh, I'm better than that. If they're confessing something they're unhappy with, you'll see contempt on their face, not towards you, but maybe towards the action they took. So it is context dependent, but it really means I'm above this thing. If I see someone acting kind of sad or, you know, in their feelings, they're going to be looking down. They're going to do this. So they're going to be looking down like that. Your job is to get them to stand up and look up. For instance, let's say Z here is upset and he's sad. Look down. I'm like, hey, what's up Z? How's it going? I'm going to be up. He's going to have a hard time being sad because he's looking up. His brain cannot access those emotions. Now, when you go to eat something and you're trying to find taste or smell, where do you look? Down. Anytime you're connecting to an emotion or feeling, good or bad, you'll look down. But usually, the feelings we connect to, and most people are not happy people, they're not connecting to positive emotions, they're connecting to apathetic negative states. So I will avoid <coughs> looking down. When someone's in pain, where are they looking? Down. If you want to disconnect from physical pain, look up. It's gonna be harder for your body to connect to it. If you want to disconnect from an emotional pain, look up. <laughs> Stand erect, tall, look away. It's like, hey, be confident. You're not just being confident. You're not connecting to fear. You're not connecting to feelings that are fucking with you. So very cool. Now, we tend to have one side that we favor positive emotions on and one side that we favor negative emotions on. So if I ask someone what your favorite food is, go, what is it? Great, left side. Okay, he looked to his left. What's your favorite food? Mine? Yeah. Uh, sushi. Look to the left again, right? What <laughs> is the most disgusting thing you ever put in your mouth? 
Burgers. That was confusing. He looked to the left, search, 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 then looked to the right, and then answered me. What's your favorite food? Pasta. Great. So positive side to the right, negative side to the left. You view me either in a positive light or negative light based on the left side or the right side. Depending if you have a, if, if all positive feelings come from the left side, for example, for me, and all negative feelings are on the right side, well, look at where I'm standing when I'm talking to you. You're on my left. But it's relative. If you're on my left, right? It is relative to every individual. But for example, I'll try and clarify for you. If you didn't like me, this would make more sense to your brain because I'm on your left. But because you like me, I'm over here. And what you'll find. Does it matter if you're on the left or the right if I like you anyways? Um, no, but you'll shift automatically like Dave did. See how Dave turned a little bit to the right? So I'm on his left now. So Can you use that to confuse him? Yes, it's extremely confusing. So motion tracking or visual tracking consumes about 85 to 90% of your conscious attention, maybe even more at times. So if I want to confuse someone, I will actually move around one. There's 10 layers to this, but Steven, stand up for a sec. I'll show you guys. So I'll show you how today gets more advanced, but I'm trying to go over all the basics with you. So Steven comes here and, I, and I'm and i trying to meet Steven. I might actually walk around here. But hey Steven, how you doing? Fine. So automatically turning him around is forcing me to lead the conversation. He's automatically following me. That's the first layer. Second layer is I'm shaking his hand. Look at what I just did. I anchored what to this handshake? I'm anchoring, no, I'm anchoring the state of me leading. So I'm shaking his hand, I'm automatically anchoring that. And then I notice, notice his feet. Now, if you really want to see how acute I am to emotions and perception, look at his feet relative to mine. I'm on his right. He's perceiving me on this side. I'm gonna gesture to this side and he's leaning to the right too. See his head is leaning to the right. That all is telling me that this side is his positive side. So everything positive is gonna be anchored to this side. Even my handshake, right? Everything's directed here. All from this one interaction in three seconds, that's what I'm able to do. Now we get to feast after a long day of uh, learning. Ow! Yo, yo! There's no way this isn't fucking up my car. There's no way. That's for sure fucking up my car. Look at that! I didn't know it snowed in LA. Bro, I wish it snowed. This is worse. Hi, bro. I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen this. It was sunny this morning. Oh. Why do you run like that? LA. We have everything. All right, so it's 8.30 in the morning. I got a message from the GM of a Porsche dealership. My car has arrived. There it is. So I'm gonna go unbox the beauty and make it happen. Oh, here, they're calling me actually right now. What's up, stud? Hey, uh, I'm just walking into work. Well, I, I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm on the way. Sweet, I'll see you in a sec. All right, brother. We're literally a minute away from the dealership. We're about to pull up and uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm fucking ecstatic. I've been waiting for this car, so long story short, I'm waiting for this car for five months. I sat down, I ordered it. I think this is the highest spec MSRP GT3 in the entire country. The MSRP on this thing is like 238. Good luck finding any, ever, finding a GT3 MSRP. I've been like, I can do it, do it. Let's see you do it. <laughs> you cannot do it. Here it is, your dealership. Where the fuck's my car at? Where's my car at? I can go look at it, yeah? I can go look at it? How you doing? Hey guys. Thanks. Wow. There it is, bro, my fucking God. <laughs> No fucking way. Look at this shit. Oh my God, it's so fucking sick. Yo, come look at this. Oh my God, everything. The boxes are on everything. Sick. What's up, Quinn? What's up, Marcel? Are you excited or what? How am I not gonna be excited? Look at this, you see it's it? It's amazing, dude. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Never unwrapped a car in my life. how fast the turbo s is it's got a zero to 60 2.1 seconds my turbo s has almost 800 horsepower at the wheel so uh they don't know what that means but they will in a minute <laughs> kayla you excited i'm terrified why i don't want to die you're not gonna die i feel like i'm gonna die oh my fucking you god you don't have to do anything stupid there's a cameraman here you know what that means yeah. <laughs> cameraman never, never dies, dies but i will <laughs> what is this oh it's just a regular carrera <laughs> peasants i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> it's not even like an attractive scream, it's like a... <laughs> I'm glad you made it this far. That means you must have really liked the video. Now, if you're interested in applying to be part of Breakthrough Platinum, which is my $80,000 a year program, there will be a link in the description. You can fill out your information and apply. There are no guarantees. However, it is very, very, very difficult to get in. If you do get into Breakthrough Platinum, you will be a part of the most exclusive group I have ever had. It is the best program I have ever done in the world. And that's why it's not only justified for ADK, I would say it is actually cheap for what it is. Now, for the rest of you, make sure you're subscribed, comment below what you'd like to learn from me, and I'll make sure I put that content out for you. I'll see you guys on the other side.